The solar cells we have today, they generate electricity while the sun is shining. You will not have energy at nighttime or when there are clouds. So you need to find a way to store some of the solar energy for uh, use on demand. The technology we develop does exactly that. By structuring ultra-thin iron oxide layers on the order of 20 or 30 nanometers on top of a mirror-like substrate, we can generate conditions where the light is getting trapped in these layers and we absorb nearly all the light and at the same time these very thin layers are very efficient for the extraction of the photocurrent out. So it's a type of solar cell but unlike the solar cells we have today that generate only electricity, our cells will generate electricity and hydrogen. And the hydrogen is a simple kind of fuel that you can use uh, either directly using uh, something called fuel cells or you can convert it to liquid fuel such as ethanol or methanol and then you can generate fuel to fuel your car if you have a hydrogen car or you can convert it to liquid fuels by reacting the hydrogen with carbon dioxide or biomass extracts. You can also take this light trapping invention and use it in other type of, of solar cells, or photovoltaic cells, so-called second-generation photovoltaic cells. Simply by applying our invention in this type of cells that are already there at the market, you can make them much cheaper. I joined this research because I wanted to give my little contribution to solving the energy crisis in the world. I talked with Professor Rothschild and together we decided to build up a small group that will work on this uh, project and to be able to take this idea from the blackboard all the way to a working device. This research was recently published in Nature Material, one of the top journals in science. Uh, I'm very proud that my students invented the idea and developed it and uh, we reached results that are better than ever reported before for this kind of device and for this kind of material. And I'd also like to acknowledge the funding agencies that support this research.